I'll never forget the first time I saw a comet through a telescope when I was a kid back in the 1990s. It was one of those defining moments for me in astronomy that really turned my attention to the heavens above. Comets are one of the most remarkable things that we can see because they represent the history of our solar system. They're made up of rock, dust, and ice, and as they get closer and closer to the sun, they shed off that material, creating the beautiful tales that we all enjoy to see. Thankfully, a comet has recently been discovered that could turn out to be an impressive sight later on this year, and it's called Comet Leonard. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at when and where you need to look with telescopes, binoculars, or maybe even the naked eye to see this impressive comet. If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. But most importantly, let me know about what got you into astronomy and any experience that you have viewing comets in the comment section below. Now let's start by taking a look at where Comet Leonard is and where it'll be for its closest approach to Earth later this year. For most of the year, Comet Leonard will be too dim for most telescopes, as it travels between the orbit of Jupiter and Mars. If it survives its journey through the solar system, Leonard will be bright enough for most telescopes later this year in the early morning sky. I plan on making my first attempts to view and image it in the second half of November, about an hour or two before sunrise in the early morning sky using my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope. If you face towards the east, you will find it in between the Canis Venetici and Coma Berenices constellations. As we move into December, two great opportunities to see it will be when it passes by the globular cluster M3 on December 3rd, and between the stars Octurus and Izar on December 6th. It's right around this time that Comet Leonard may become a naked eye object in the nighttime sky, particularly from dark sky locations, but the best views of it will still be with a pair of binoculars or a telescope. Comet Leonard's closest approach to Earth will be on December 12th, and your best bet to catch it will probably be just before sunrise as it peaks above the horizon just ahead of the sun. After its closest approach to Earth, I would encourage you to make some additional attempts to see it in the early evening sky right after sunset. Now this is gonna depend greatly on whether it under or overperforms our expectations, but if it's bright enough and isn't washed out by the sun, you'll have a great opportunity to view it just below the planet Venus on December 17th. After this date, it will begin to dim significantly each night as it continues towards its closest approach to the sun on January 3rd and moves back towards the outer reaches of our solar system. It's important to remember that comets are very unpredictable. It's just as likely that Comet Leonard will live up to its expectations as it is that it may break apart right after I post this video. We also may be treated to a brighter comet down the road that hasn't even been discovered yet. Regardless of the outcome, please let me know of any experiences that you have viewing comets, particularly Comet Leonard, hopefully later this year, in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support, and clear skies from late night astronomy.